So let's solve this frame program problem here. Um, let's tap into what we know about static determinacy and indeterminacy. What we know about determinacy is that if the structure is statically determinate, we can actually solve the problem using statics. So the problem must be stable and it must be determinate to use statics. So let's go ahead and, and evaluate that. Um, the first thing we're going to do is draw a free body diagram of our structure. So here we have our structure and let's start replacing the supports with um, support reactions. And we have to get all of our geometry in here. So this is six feet and three feet. This is six feet tall. And this is a total of eight feet with an applied load at six feet. Okay. And of course we have to get our applied loads in here. So we have a linearly varying load at the top over the full nine feet. It maxes out at eight kips per foot. And then here we have a five kip inclined force. And actually I'm going to go ahead and break that down. Since this is a nice three, four, five triangle, I know that the ver vertical component here is going to be four fifths of five kips is four kips and I get a horizontal component of three kips. So there's my free body diagram. And before I can check determinacy, I want to make sure that I'm stable. So let's just inspect it for stability. Okay. Um, something is unstable if all of the all of the external reactions um, are parallel. Okay. In this case, you can see we have REY and REX. So we have horizontal and vertical reactions. So they're not parallel, therefore we have stability. The second one we need is to check the external reactions to see if they're concurrent. That basically would mean if all of, if I could draw a line from each of the, all of the reactions and have them meet at a single point. Obviously because we have two orthogonal directions on these reactions, that they're not concurrent. So from, from what we can tell here, it, it looks like it's a stable structure. So the next step we have to look at is, is it determinacy? Determinant. Remember, our check for determinacy is the number of unknowns has to be equal to three times the number of members. So let's go ahead and look at this. In this case, we have three members. N equals three, so this side of the equation is three times three equals to nine. And now we have to look at the number of unknowns. So let's go ahead and look at this. We get two unknowns for this reaction, two there, and we have one there. So we have two plus two plus one. But we also get unknowns when we break apart our structure. So at a pin, at a pin we cannot translate moment. So if you look at this closely, and you look at this pin right here, you get two members coming in and they can only translate horizontal and vertical forces. So these all, so on, on the end of this one you've got that and the end of the other one. So you get two internal forces at a pin. So I get two there and I get two there. So plus two plus two and we get nine on this side and nine here. Because R is equal to 3N, we can conclude that it's determinate. And therefore, we can solve this with the equations of equilibrium. In the next video, I'm going to start at this point, and we're going to solve for the unknown reactions.